Yojo Thank You, a saga of tainted evil, is licensed and produced by Funimation Entertainment, Media Factory, Enterprise, and Sony Music Communications. Studios Not Networks, ATX, Tokyo MX, Sun, KBS, TVA, and BS11. Based on the works by Carlos Sen. Please support the official release. Yojo Thank You, a saga of tainted evil, is licensed and produced by Funimation Entertainment, Media Factory, Enterprise, and Sony Music Communications. Studios Not Networks, ATX, Tokyo MX, Sun, KBS, TVA, and BS11. Hello there, YouTube Jacket, with more Yojo Thank You episode I forgot. And last time, well, her rapid response unit just immediately slaughtered and wiped out that stupid invading army. Why do I call them stupid? Because they're stupid. I mean, it's okay to fall for traps that are like that. I mean, you're not perfect. But if you broadcast sensitive information without any sort of encryption into the ether, then you're stupid. I mean, this is not even comparable to just screaming out your military secrets. Because your scream would never reach that far. Just, I know a bit about that stuff, okay? I mean, I have this in college, like, network communication and encryption and stuff like that, so this kind of hurts. I have a bit of a cringe factor here. So yeah, at least I got to see them all getting wiped out into bloody mess that wasn't the purple sentence, but who cares. So yeah, and then, well, they quote-unquote invaded the capital, I think it was the capital of uh, their world equivalent of Romania, I think it was. And they sort of had a loophole in the military regulations. Like, they had to give them the chance to surrender and evacuate, and they did so by making it sound like a prank, which was just awesome. Especially the fireworks later on, like, Oh, bloody hell, it's awesome. Please give me more of that in this episode. I, I just love awesomeness like this. Just one-sided slaughter. It is fun to watch. So yeah, episode, I think it's seven actually, but I'm not sure. But I hope I'm going to get some, like some number around here. Anyway, so yeah, let's get into whatever episode this is. In three, two, one. Several days after the battle with Dirk here. Yeah, sounds impressive. I mean, it's really impressive. But once you know the circumstances, it's kind of more of a given. Losing in this kind of situation is more like... Meh. I mean, I assume they didn't really upgrade their military that much since the attack. Actually, this is really quiet too. But then again, upping the volume kind of increases the risk of me yelling again. Hmm. So, what do you propose, then? The Cruel Truth. What, as a supply unit? Cue the opening? No, not even. Well, I can. I can accept that. Hmm. 
Wasn't that a couple of weeks ago now? Or whatever? Really? They call it Norden? I wonder if you don't actually prefer that. Like, you want to avoid the front lines, don't you? Oh, it's them. I don't know why I find her here funny or whatever it was about the scene that made me laugh. Norton. It's such a stupid name. Should it now? Well, you said it yourself, you're kind of the brink of a world war here. Well, yeah, you have kind of historical experience with things turning to world war. Twice, in fact. That is some wicked god if it actually starts a world war just to teach you a lesson. Like, seriously, you yeah. Gotta have some priorities here if it's just to convince someone to believe in God. Also, I have to watch that scene again because I kind of missed who those people were. And I think that's important. Beginning of Madness, and it's episode 6, not 7. Entent Alliance. So it's like, well, they're opponents. Uh, no, not necessarily. Like, you just gotta do the bare minimum of military tactics and you're gonna not end up like that. At least not as soon. I guess that kingdom is supposed to be like Britain up there and the Republic maybe France. I always take forever to figure out where they are on that goddamn map. By the way, I do love seeing the different styles and the magic equipment they use. Oh, already? Well, you just did that. So that's not Tanya's unit, though, is it? I mean, I don't, I don't recognize the faces. I know I stuck at names, but usually at least the faces.
could that be Tanya's unit? I mean, they should know and they shouldn't be undefined, but maybe they just didn't get the memo. Ah, uh, nope, never mind. They've got bombers. It's kind of amazing they're hitting things with that. I mean... Those are the 20s. Like, accuracy wasn't that big a thing back then. So I understand shooting down an enemy plane, but... Something as tiny as a soldier? But then again, they can't just not shoot at them. Yep. Yeah, they are pretty accurately hitting them. <laughs> so, time to shine. <laughs> oh, I want to see the epicness. Come on. A named mage. Oh. <laughs> yep, show them how it's done. <laughs> also, they gotta be, have a bit of a what the fuck moment seeing a little girl in charge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I don't even know why. I, I can't read their names and the subtitles at the same time. Not like I would remember the names anyway, but still. We're gonna wipe out everyone. Just don't worry. Yes! <laughs> 10,000. Good enough. <laughs> well, what kind of equipment do you even have here? <laughs> but then again, how can the others keep up with Tanya? I mean, Tanya has the, the prototype, but the others don't. Nope. <laughs> I do love these sound effects, though. I really dig them. Also, I've never noticed the glow in their eyes. The subtle glow, not like Tanya's glow when they use magic. I love the calmness in her voice. <laughs> and the theme again. And so you seem to have gotten used to it too already, huh? <laughs> Was that a report worth giving? <laughs> yep, come on, just 
Eliminate them, please. <laughs> what can't already be halfway through? We are halfway through. God damn it. Or being X, damn it. <laughs> yeah, just ignore them, right? They can't hit you up there. Just do it. <laughs> I just love the wind in the background. Epic music! Also, time to show what you've got. Being put in charge for once. Yeah, what can Mon Mage do, right? <laughs> I don't think there's anyone who can dance with you, though. Hey, there's my 10,000. Yay! How do you know it's a girl? <laughs> like... Hi there! <laughs> oh, just a grenade. Like, you're not even worth the magic! <laughs> oh... Yep. Run the hell away, not like you're gonna get away, but still. And just magic capture all the bombs and throw them back. Or do something like that. Please do it. Yep. The board voice I'm praying to. It's like, God damn it, I have to pray for this. <laughs> <laughs> Split! <laughs> and the voice. And not the voice, the, the music. Hey, you survived! So it would seem. Oh, will you now? Hmm. Wonder how that's gonna turn out then. Well, he looks kind of dead. So does he. Gotta pull a surprise attack. Ooh. Hey, you can still move for once. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> you should know better, though. <laughs> Is there any point in controlling him if you are not even speaking through him? <laughs> well, you know, she still got the Empire on her side for now. So, gotta shoot down another bird, huh? I love that name, though. 
I love a lot of things in the show, don't I? <laughs> She's just gonna storm in here. Someone just, someone just wrecked them. Oh. Yeah, you think you're gonna get more data than you want to. <laughs> it dawns on him. <laughs> come on, come on. Not gonna matter. <laughs> oh. oh, they actually managed to retreat first. Well, good for Tanya, so she can actually get some prisoners in. I was gonna ask, like, killing them all kind of defeats the purpose of capturing them. Yeah, she had a bit of an encounter. Oh, well, never mind prisoners then. I guess you're in a bad mood now. You're really just gonna stand around there after you've been spotted. Well, he's got a stern face. <laughs> oh, is she from here? Well, oh, that guy, huh? Well, that wasn't work then. So they are. Yeah, a strong damn that face. <laughs> I was gonna say, strong as she might be, she can't take on the whole world. Ah, give me a second here. Intent to aliens. So that was, I assume, the original anime they had. I'm just not sure where it was exactly right now. Like, was it some Russia or something along along the lines over there, or where was it? Like that Europe uh, down right side was like that Dyker uh, whatever and uh, Dyker uh, thing. I guess the Republic is like France and the Allied Kingdom is Britain. Could be wrong, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume since like these seem to be the new parties and we had the map earlier where she said these two are gonna be the ones joining. So we're actually gonna take on the whole world then. <laughs> wow, you don't really think much of your country now, do you, huh? So they're really just going by process of elimination. Whoever survives gets promotion. 
That's really quite a nice state you're in then. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, I got them freaking opening. I really want to watch it, but nope. Let me see this. Yeah, nope. I want your name. Ministry of Defense. Give me the name. Colonel. Oh wait, that I, I, the name was up there. Anson Sue. Hmm. I really think I have to have, have to sort of look up the political situation a bit here. Uh, wow, there's actually post credits. Ah, damn it! Like the ending looks so freaking awesome. I really want to watch it. Oh, that was actually a cut of ending. Okay, never mind. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I guess you don't you're not really aware of that yet, huh? smoking in mind. <laughs> Just a resounding no. Well, yeah, I, if you're gonna smoke, then do it but like on the battlefield. Maybe you could pick a better time and place. Like, maybe not smoke next to live ammunition that could go off with fire and stuff like that. You know, blow up, kill you, blow away some limbs, leave you horribly crippled for the rest of your life. For that one smoke. Bad bargain, I say. But then again, I'm not a smoke. I'm not, so, I'm not smoking, so I can't judge what it will be like. Uh, just thinking. Damn, that was one mighty fine episode. And I'm glad it's only episode 6, meaning there are more episodes to go. I really do screw up my episode numbers a lot lately, don't I? Hmm. Oh well. So, what is there to say about this episode? I really do want to check this out right now. So, yo, yo, Senki. So, who are the allied forces here? Uh, I want to avoid spoiler threats and. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. I guess I could check Wikipedia, though I'm a bit scared, to be honest. Also, I freaking love the novel illustrations. Like, they're just gorgeous. And I think, like, the ending is actually these illustrations sort of put together. Oh, manga has three volumes, what novel has seven. I was kind of confused there right now. Characters, the Empire, I actually want to want, not really the characters, but the countries, there we have, there we go. Yeah, the Francoise Republic, so I guess basically French, f f yeah, French, blah, France. United Kingdom is the Allied Kingdom. Uh, Leg Legedonia Federation. Legidonia Federation, whatever. Yeah, the Entente Alliance. Entente, 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 whatever. This country is based on the union between, oh, Sweden and Norway. Okay, so it's up there, actually. Oh, yeah, uh, makes sense, since they're actually, like, uh, going to Norden. That's the most stupid name. It means North in German. And, like, this is sort of this German-based country what they what they're in like the empire is the is sort of germany and i'm not expecting a lot of german from them i mean it's a different world and all but they do have a couple of german last names so it just strikes me as really stupid to have a city or whatever this is named norden 
but whatever. So it's Sweden and Norway. Hmm, interesting. And then we have the duck here, whatever, deck here, duck here. Similar to, yeah, Romania. And then a couple of others, which haven't appeared yet, so I'm not going to check over them. So yeah, there's that. Uh, at least I have a proper grasp on the locations now. With that said, what I actually originally commented on during the episode, I love how they have different gear for their magic, like uh, the Antante Alliance has this these horse thingies, whatever you want to call them, they are riding on, and these skis, uh, and like the Empire has these, whatever you can call them, boots, sort of. And, well, we haven't seen any magic units from other countries yet, so can't say about them. But, 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 yeah, it's just sort of, to me, it shows, like, the difference in technology. Like, they didn't really cooperate a lot back then, so everybody sort of worked on the stuff on their own. And thus, I really like the idea, the fact that they all came up with different designs, which they seem to be the most fitting and best. Like, that's not an artistic choice. It's like, they do this for a purpose. <sighs> Next time, War Report. I really absolutely love the show. I don't get why it doesn't have a higher score on my animal list. I mean, it has like something in the sevens, right? Last time I checked... Yojo Senki. Yep, yeah, 7.89. Uh, I, I really don't know what it is about the show other than the story. Like, I really like the animation. At times it's a bit weird with the faces, I think. It doesn't actually bother me, just sort of... I notice it. Let's put it like that. Uh, the eyes seem a bit huge, but then again, if you look at the novel illustrations, they are kind of huge. And I don't have anything to compare it to, since, like, this is completely a new studio, too. Like, studio's not. And they don't have anything other on the resume but Yojo Senki. I mean, it's a good start. So, I'm looking forward to more from them. But yeah, uh, so much for this episode. That, that face with being EXO, that was just awesome. I, is the thing really turning the whole world against Tanya, just... Just to turn her into a believer. Like, you gotta set your priorities straight, man. Or... thing. All the things you could do with that much effort. Well, I don't know how much effort it actually is for an all-powerful being. I'm presuming you are all-powerful, but who knows? Ah, yeah, so there is that. Ah, uh, I do wonder, like, in the end, is the Empire gonna turn on Tanya eventually? Because we humans have a tendency Things like, if we cannot control it, and there's the slightest chance of this thing ever going against us, we, we better just kill it. You know, we, we just attack this thing now, while, while we're still on good terms, and all like, like, you know, just so it doesn't turn against us. It's like the most stupid thing you could do! I, ju I just see that in a lot of movies, so I, I gotta assume this is... This is how humans behave, and like history shows it, kind of, sh sort of shows it too. Given that sort of every uh, tribe or new, no, what do you call it, uh, civilization of humans we have run into sort of has gone a little bit extinct. So, yeah, for Europe invasion! So, I guess that is all for now. Until next time, see you then. Bye.